Yeah. You good? Hey, yo, what up, man? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97 BT. It's crazy right now, man. Now, listen, this is going to be a different type of interview. I got dressed up for it. You know what I'm saying? Got my tie out. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why we're here. You know, there's a special reason, actually. You know, I just saw this movie called Hitman, and I thought it was incredible, Agent 47. But I've been playing the Hitman games for many, many, many years. So before we talk about the latest Hitman, kind of give us, you know, a brief history on the beginning of Hitman all the way up to where we at now and how it's grown. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Okay, man. Well, to be briefly said, I mean, it's 17 years of history. You released the first game in 2000, and now it's 2015. So, I mean, plus two years of development. So it's been a couple of games, yeah. and we tried a lot of different things in, in different games. And actually, it's quite a good place to be in, because everything we learned during that journey went into this new game. And mm -hmm. as you saw, it was kind of worth the wait, right? Yeah. And the new game, the main thing I want to talk to you about is how unscripted it is. It's like it makes you truly think, like, what would you do in this situation, in this scenario? And if you think it could happen, it probably will happen. Yeah. And if you think it won't happen, it probably won't. It's like it's really up to you. So from a technical standpoint, the engine, the, the PlayStation 4 and, you know, all the platforms that's coming out on, how was you guys able to achieve such diversity? and dynamics in this game to make it behave this way I think that's the most important thing to me yeah. I mean what really helps us here is our own engine is Glacier 2 which is really tailored to a game like Hitman right mm -hmm. we have uh, our AI system which acts and reacts in a realistic way which is very important to us so as you have seen in the demo like how the people behave how the people um, you know act and react to the actions that you do or also what happens in the levels so so um, also the graphic fidelity is super important to us so Crazy. there's a lot of detail in there yeah. and, and it's actually all these small amounts of details that add up to a really really cool realistic experience you know whether it be you know a really cool cloth simulation that you know you know stuff looks real and even you know if you drink from a glass champagne and you watch it closely and you see that the liquid actually turns to gravity and there are sparkles <laughs> in champagne yes <laughs> man <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, now, yo, yo, now I gotta tell you something else that happened in the game, and this part was crazy. Now, he, uh, there was a situation where, like, how we're doing right now, there was a camera crew, and they was talking and stuff, doing an interview, right? And he walked past, right in front of, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yo, yeah, you should do that, like, just like that. So, so, yeah, shout to Josh, PS Nation, baby. So, he walked right in front of the camera, and the girl was like, cut, like, she reacted to what you did, and then you did it again. She's like, oh, you're an asshole and then they stopped the shooting and that right there that one little thing changes the entire the way the game works in terms of you being a hitman so one of the things that I felt was interesting is you said that there's a story to this game but it builds over time so walk us how the the story builds and how important the locations are well of course they're super important because that plays into this whole fantasy of being a true assassin right I mean in terms of uh, the story Story, I can't tell so much right now because it's pretty much under wraps, but we will s reveal something pretty soon. Mm. There will be a really interesting overarching story arc that uh, will also reflect on a lot of older games and a lot of stuff that happened uh, in the Hitman games. So long-term fans, man, they they will love it what we drop on them. Yeah. yeah I love <laughs> you, dude. I love you, son. This is going to be crazy. So now I got a major question for you. You got to hold the belt for this one, though, son. Got to hold the belt for this one, baby. I right, now. For Man. Hell yeah, it's heavy. I, yo, my arms is tight, man. I'm telling you, kid. Word up, son. <laughs> <laughs> real shit, man. Stop kidding. See? Now now y'all know. For all y'all haters out there, they be like, oh, this is a toy belt. Yeah. Let me smack no. you with it. Let me smack <laughs> you with it. You tell me if it's a toy. It's probably gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, hit me and shots fired. I love this. Crazy. So, now, my major question, right? After watching the movie, and you saw the movie too, you know, no spoilers, but in the movie, it showed 
a certain togetherness like you was working with someone so to speak to get certain things accomplished i gotta talk like that i'm sorry <laughs> but but the thing is um will we ever see like hitman or do you got plans to actually have like co-op and hitman where we could like go through certain things together like you know what i'm saying because the way it was the way i saw things in the movie it made me think about if we had that in the game it had just changed everything unlike any franchise i've seen before that dealt with assassinations interesting question my friend so uh, <laughs> <laughs> no the thing is right now i have to say no because uh this is a new technology it's a new experience for us as well it's a very interesting journey it's okay. it's, it's something bold something fantastic we think and and of course on the long term we think about stuff like that mm -hmm. um but right now we really have to you know get the basics right see how this digital uh, LED release is working out for us and it's some in some um, regards we only uh, are already doing this actually because uh, this Hitman game you will experience this alongside with us and alongside with other players um, earlier I was talking about um, when we have our live targets you know targets that are only there for 48 hours and you have only one chance to take this guy out you know if he leaves he's gone if he dies then he dies period and this is already something where I think the community Community will come together, you know, discuss yeah. on forums. You know, people will uh, say, "Oh man, how, how are we gonna do this? We can't lose them this time and mm. such that." So, I got a major question for you too. All my questions is major. I right? like real talk. So, so bell, like, bell. you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. I <laughs> yo, this is classy. I, I love yo. That was high. I like this. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yo, that was a classic. Yo, so all right, so check it out, right? Now, when you say 48 hours, is that 48 hours in like video game time or is that 48 hours in real life time? That's real 48 hours for you. So, and it will be known what? when it happens, but as a player, you have to be on a watch out when that happens. So, yeah. All right, you got to tell me this. Matter of fact, you better have it. All right, I'm sorry. I just got I got to uh, cuz cuz now I'm like my energy is extra crazy right now. Tell me you guys have a companion app where like for example, right? Right? Let's say you playing the game, you got 48 hours in real life, but you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you on you on a bus, you on a train, or you you know you got you gotta go somewhere. And let's say you get a message saying, "Hey, look, you got 16 hours left. The target is on its way here." Like like that would be crazy if there was a remote way. Like like if your phone could be like a remote like access for you within the actual game, dude. Oh, that would be awesome, right? <laughs> that would be really cool. <laughs> oh man, see, see, I'm telling you, you know, you know. I, see, now the, the game comes out December eighth, right? Seven, eight, yeah. There's, there's quite a few months before this game come out. I think. I think we gonna see it. I think I think they got something planned to support that. I'm a, uh, that's what we going with on a hip hop gamer show. That's what we going with. Now my next question is, and I think this is very important, but combat. Like I know it's all about the guns and, and the weapons and stuff like that, right. but actual hand to hand combat. Like, w will we see that in this game? And if so, how deep does it go? Um, as I was saying, like we took all the good parts from, or the good parts, the parts that people really liked from Hitman Absolution, let's say, and the close combat was pretty intense there. So everything you saw in Absolution is in there as a starting point. Wow. So you can get in there. You can also, you know, you have these moments where you can uh, surrender more or less, and then grab the guy as a human hostage and stuff like that. So all the physicality is in there. So you're gonna have your fun. All right, now another thing I want to ask you, and this is based on the fact, based off the fact that the environment and everything. Is so alive with the AI. I mean, they, look, you don't understand, dog. They gave me a tour, and you, they had like over, like it was like over 300 people. You could hear the difference in conversation and all that other stuff. It was insane. Like it was really like being at a real place in a game. It was really that crazy. So because you have that aspect there, you could you could play the way you want to play. It'd be amazing if there's a way where you had like some sort of customization where you could make your own type of weapon for for certain situations. For example. The way situations happen in this game, you have a certain way you could do it. You got the uh, the opportunity system that that kind of gives you an insight on things. What if you was able to like look at something and be like, you know what? If I could take this and take that and put it together, or whatever, it'll probably do this. It'll probably do that. Will, you, will we have that ability to create our own things on the fly? I mean, not right now, but you know, not right now. What if? 
over time, a lot of gamers like you are saying, hey, dudes from I.O., how about that? And now we have the possibility to actually, you know, do that over the course of time, you know, because we can add stuff. We will, we want to experience this with you guys, with everybody, and we will listen very closely of, to what you guys have to say and how we can make this game better. Now, my, now, one of my issues with this game is something that I'm worried about. I'm not sure if it's in there or not, but when it comes to the rewards that you get with the weapons and stuff like that, like, do you only get rewards if you, like, play stealthy or, like, do they tell you how you should play or whatever, whatever? Because I'm a, you know, I'm a balls out type of dude. I just want to go and shoot you in the face and laugh about it later. Like, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I was just wondering, do you have, uh, do you have a setup where you could be rewarded no matter what style you play? Um, of course, I mean, there will be different kinds of rewards. There will be like uh, stuff you get whenever you accomplish your mission, but there will also be rewards that will reward your uh, play style, what you go through. You know, the sneaky guy, he gets more sneaky stuff. The guns out blazing guy gets more crazy oh, guns. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it's fair. This, this is how it works, yeah. This okay, it, it's fair. Now, last question, last question, right? Now, I love the tie, right? I love the, this tie. Now, I know this may not like mean anything, but when I was playing GoldenEye back on Nintendo 64, right. you had the gold guns and stuff like that. That was like the main thing in the joint. So, if like, do, do you guys got like a different level of ties or something like that? Like, I think that would be real dope if you had like, if you had um like, a, a, if you wore a certain tie, it would give you a certain ability. Just, just to add to the fantasy of the game and how important and symbolic the tie is to the Hitman character. I think it would be so dope if they had like a different tie, like if it had a like a darker color red, you know what I'm saying? Or they, they had a tie that was black and red with the hitman logo if you had this there's a certain if you push the tie a certain way a, a poison to come out like you know certain things that i just never saw before that i thought would be real cool and unique to the symbolicness of the tie i mean of course not right now but yeah. dude you know what i mean this guy should come over to the studio and just <laughs> just drop us a list of ideas man he's awesome so yeah but again we'll listen to the players and we're gonna do a lot of a lot of interesting things that uh, hopefully people love all right cool yeah, look i'm done i'm blown away by what i I saw in the movie and I'm blown away by what I saw in the game. December 8th, there's a lot that you guys still have to polish and work on and stuff like that. If there's one thing you could say to the fans to get them that much that much more excited for the Hitman game and everything, all the work that you put into it, what would you say to them as we wrap up? As we wrap up? Well, I would say, first of all, thanks. Thanks a lot for staying with us all the time and especially those guys who are with us for this long time will be rewarded in a very, very big way. This is the hitman game you guys been waiting for a long time yo one love and god bless your boy hip-hop gamer shout out to ps nation my man josh you already know what it is hot 97 bt hitman baby we out peace oh.